Hi there, my name's Dave and welcome to another wine tasting. This time we're going to try a Quinta da Lixa Escola from the Vino Verde region of Portugal. Now this one's a bit unusual for us because it's a Vino Verde, but it's a red wine and usually Vino Verde is white. And the grape for this is 100% Vinhao, V-I-N-H-A-O. Now, Vino Verde is translated as green wine, but it actually means young wine. So the Vino Verde region has all this young wine in Portugal. It is in the far north of the country in what was known as the Minho province. Now, everyone knows a white Vino Verde, but about 40% of Vino Verde is actually red or rosé. In fact, there's red, white, or rosé types of Vino Verde, and there's also dry, late harvest, and sparkling Vino Verde. So there's a huge amount of different Vino Verdes that we never see here in Canada. Vino Verde wine is made to be consumed soon after bottling. So this is a 2021, so it should be okay. Vinhao, as I said, is the grape of this particular Vino Verde. And it is a red grape variety from the Vino Verde demarcated region. The Vinhao grape is a unique grape and is apparently quite mouth puckering. It makes dark wines which have high acidity. And just a fun fact, Vinhao grapes are used in the manufacturing of port to give port its beautiful dark color because it's quite a dark grape. So, Let's try this 2021 Quinta da Lixa Escola Portuguese wine from the Vino Verde region at a price of just $17. Okay. I said appearance clear. and I said deep purple. This looks like purple wine. It doesn't look like... Um, usual garnet it looks purple and it's definitely deep because i could not see the stem through the through the wine um nose i said clean um medium plus uh, quite a nice aroma sort of a a lot of a lot of things going on in the in the nose there's something floral which i couldn't identify but it smells sort of flowery raspberry and cranberry initially were the two strongest smells to me like raspberry cranberry for sure then a little bit of red cherry, and then there was a herbaceousness about this. Maybe I'm going out there for a reach, maybe eucalyptus. Then there was sort of a, a kind of a flinty smell, and then uh, or like like a like pencil like a pencil lead or something, and then I got a little black pepper. Well, shall we try this? I said uh, dry, uh, medium plus to high acidity. I felt quite acidic. Um, medium minus tannins. I said medium alcohol too, and it's 12.5%, which is medium. I said medium minus body, uh, medium intensity flavor, and a medium finish. I said that, that, that it's not really that fruity. Um, there's some muted tastes of like raspberry and cherry, but they're not as strong as like on the nose. There is that sort of flintiness. And there's, I don't know if I want to call it citrus, but there's definitely an acidic taste to it. They can taste the, the puckeringness of the acidity. However, I thought it was, it is puckery. However, at the same token, it's smooth. It's like all those flavors that we taste, that we, that all those aromas that we, that we smelled are all sort of integrated into this very smooth kind of um, wine, which is really young. Like a guy gets smooth wine, um, like if you get a, I don't know, a nice 10 year old Bordeaux or something like that. And that can be that silky smooth. And it's not silky, but this is quite smooth too, similar to that, in that it seems like all of the tastes have mingled and are, and are really nice. Um, I thought it was balanced. Uh, the length was pretty good. The intensity was okay. And I thought it was complex. I think there's, there's lots going on in this wine. And I rate it as uh, good to very good as well. I, I think for $17, it's a great deal. If you are looking into booking a wine tour of the Okanagan for next year, 
and you are interested in a customizable, flexible, and completely private wine tour in the comfort of your own vehicle, please check out the link below in the comments.